It's not bad. It's let's, a nice let's, flavor. It's let's deep. finish this together, you and I. Right. I'll have no trouble. I'll finish it with you. Is it dare? Mm. No. It's a friendship dare. It's a love dare. I don't it's know. A love <laughs> There's a whole different type of YouTube show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're so good. Welcome to Hot Ribs, a blatant ripoff of the amazing YouTube show Hot Ones, where they do 10 increasingly hot wings with 10 equally spicy questions. We got Rib Fest coming. Wood Buffalo Rib Fest is on from August 30th all the way to September 2nd down at Sny Park, so it's Hot Ribs. We got five increasingly hot ribs, five in equally spicy questions. And I'd like to welcome guests Dan Gillies and Dan Tulk, who will be performing live at the Rib Fest at Sny Park, which is free to attend, by the way. How you guys doing? Oh, great, man. How you doing? I'm doing, uh, this is, I'm so excited to do this. I love this show, and I I really uh, admire the heck out of the host of it because he's a great interview conductor. You look great so as a host, man. Well, thank you so much. You guys are in uniform. <laughs> yeah, music, music is uniform. We, yeah. you know, we're, we're it's the, black, yeah, man. Black yeah, exactly. And we look so thin, right? It's slimming. It's slimming. Exactly, yeah, yeah. That's why this, oh, this is my chest. But these smell, smell great, man. Good I know, job. it smells really uh, wafting, so uh, we're going to dive right into it. But first of all, yeah. you guys, you, you haven't seen the show, you have seen the show of before. Of course, yeah. Love Hot the show. ones, that is, yeah. yeah. So, okay, so you're, on for, you're in for a ride. I think we all are, honestly. Are you guys ready? Let's I'm ready. Are you ready? Right. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's Wing do number this. one. Wing number one. Rib okay. number one. Here we go. Oh, so what is this? So Northern this lights. is the Northern Lights sauce. Mm, Northern Lights. Mm. Okay. That's lovely. Question number one. Mm. The landscape of live music in Fort McMurray is vast and yet tightly knit, uh, often overlapping with their closest neighbors in Edmonton and Calgary. Zero Lost, The Border Pines, Radium Scouts, Darina Harvey Band, JFR, just to name a few that are playing at Rib Fest this weekend. You'll both be performing as well. Tell me, how often do you two get mistaken for each other? I think oh, you go ahead. You go ahead. You want me to take it? Okay, we're gonna be polite, super polite. Uh, it happens more often now. Usually not like when we're together. But mm -hmm. Usually we'll, I'll be at a venue and someone's like, "You sound different, or you, or you, you look a little different." And I'm like, hey, "Wrong guy." And like, <laughs> "No, I met you before. You're Dan with the long hair, the beard, the plays guitar." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, no, wrong guy." More have specific. You, have you ever had like you're walking somewhere and you're wearing like your leather and your ponytail and someone yells from behind you like, "Hey, hey, Gillies," or something? Have you ever had that happen? I've, I've had. The most, I get, "Hey, Dan," because yeah. then I respond. If I hear Gillies, I just, I just look. Where's Dan at? And I look yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. if I get the Hey Dan, I'm like, hey. And then, then we, sometimes it goes a little longer than you would think. And they're like, I'm like, oh no, wrong one. <laughs> one of us needs to do something that's like overtly different. So one of us needs to get like the whole ZZ Top beard or shave it off or. I feel like that's thing. not gonna happen. This, this is all, this is like, we didn't plan this. No. Like, this is forever, I wanna look like this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's the look. It's, it's and the look. We, we did it completely natural. We're born the same month. We met our wives the same month. We like, both we, have a daughter with a, a, yeah. a Beatles song. We have, it's, 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 it's modern the yearly. I didn't even know that. Oh yeah. That's deep cuts. Oh yeah. Abby and Lucy, so good. I love it, I love it. <laughs> Those are two of my favorite songs from the video. Hey, there we um, go. Dive into wing number two. Wing two. Love okay, it. so this is the uh, Dougie's. Uh, uh, this is habanero gold one hit sauce. Like We're definitely not one hitting it. This is doused. Mm, so. Okay, here we go. Okay. This will teach me how to Dougie. Mm. Mm. It's got like a mustard base to it. Mm. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. mm. That's pretty tasty. Yeah, mm. it is good. A little hotter, a little hotter. A little spicier. That's, still, that's the goal. Feel comfortable though. That's the idea. Oh, feel the back of the throat. Am I right? I'm okay. I want two bites. It's great. Mm. So Trooper was also performing at Wood Buffalo Rib Fest as well. Uh, the widely held as a uh, shiny Canadian staple in the classic rock realm. And uh, they even bill themselves as Canada's oldest, coolest band, period. Um, not to diminish our collective love for Trooper, but what do you each feel is the ultimate Canadian band? Oh, that's so dumb. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, so for, to this go ahead. Go, you did it first. Even if, if you don't like the hip, someone has to say the hip. Mm -hmm. I think that's the default. Yeah. Yeah. Um, should we go with our labor of loves rather than like who we all know is the most. It's the way I look at it is, is what's your favorite um, Led Zeppelin song? You cannot say Stairway to Heaven. No, no, exactly. So, yeah. We'll so, take the hip out of the question. You, you go ahead. So, and you, got, you, you, got, you got to respect Rush. You got to respect mm. Brian Allen. You got to respect Neil Young. Mm. Um, right now, you know, I think my, one of my favorite. Is Hoxie working at this point? Isn't I, love it? I love Hoxie working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I look at like great bands like The Watchmen, all these '90s yeah. rock bands. Yeah. I just love them. Like I'm Mother Earth, Our Lady Peace. Right there. So my favorites, just with mad respect to those bands, my favorite Canadian band is Our Lady Peace. I have a man crush on Raina. Uh, yeah. Rain, Rain Nada, and yeah. I just his writing is everything. And that was my. I've got I've got clumsy on vinyl now. It's like nice. Whoa, it's so oh. it's lovely. I got my first tattoo. Sorry, mom. <laughs> when I ran, when I went away from home at 16 to go on the clumsy tour, yes! I, I, I ran, went to St. John's. I got uh, a ugly bulldog on my back. Uh, That'd be a fantastic at the, place. At the uh, yeah. clumsy tour. Yeah, oh, that's chills. No, yeah, that's listen, chills. students. I'm a teacher. Don't do that. Where, where is the tattoo? On my back. Okay. Yeah, like, this is not. Well, this is not a salacious show. show. It's well, a G-rated show. Yeah, you got to hide it from these parents. Speaking of G-rated show, the next sauce we can't even say the title of. It's the hottest ucking sauce. Ucking. And I've been told that this one's mean. I haven't actually sampled this one yet. So 
Rib number three. It looks mean. I feel like we, I feel like the two are playing with us, and this I one's know. gonna. This I feel like I'm, I got a little like it's a fall Ready? off the bone rib. Low there. and slow, right? One, two, three. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Okay. The tongue. Mm -hmm. The tongue hits you. Mm -hmm. There's some spikes right off the bat on that mm -hmm. one. That's for oh, sure. And it builds. Mm. That's not bad. It's tasty, though. Yeah. I'm gonna finish it. Mm. So I'm, I've been missing three wait, good wait, questions wait, here. Wait a second. Is it sneaking up on you? It's getting a little. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I got, you, you, you reached. I you reached. thought about it. I did. I've been, I've, I flinched. I've been thinking about it too. I'll tell you. I got a little, little lip, little lips, little lips thing. Mm -hmm. They're 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 plump, the, right? That'd be a great name for an 80s, 80s rock lip, band. Lip. Lipstick. I can't even make jokes right now. <laughs> Can you imagine like the the leather you would wear, the big hair, and the, the oh my gosh. Steve, we're gonna start a new band. Ready? The Fort Mac tribute to hair metal. Lip sting. Mm. Lip sting. Lip sting. Lip sting. I love it. With a with a wicked logo. Oh, it's yeah, a metallic logo. Yeah. Um, question number three for you guys. Uh, the host of shot ones, the hot ones. We are lovingly ripping off the whole format here. I, I admire him for his thoughtful interview questions and his uh, calm, cool, and collected demeanor in the face of extreme heat. Uh, what is another figure, famous or obscure, that uh, you think conducts a really great interview? Oh, that's a great. That's actually that's a, a great question. Who does a good interview? Oh my gosh. I'm enjoying like Rhett and Link, Good Mythical Morning now. I'm enjoying the way they talk to you, but they don't really interview each other that much. Yeah. Um, yeah. Who does a good interview? They're, oh gosh, that's a wicked question. That's, that's <laughs> fantastic. So like off the top of my head, because we're thinking like homegrown, like I yeah. think of George, right? Strumbolophagus. Oh right? yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like he's, he's, I mean, going back to the much music 90s VJ days, like he was really, he was a good interviewer. Homegrown. But, like, homegrown. but if you're going like obscure and like, you know, like American or European, like I, I'm, I'm trying to think. Who does a good interview? I say Steve Reed was good. <laughs> I'm trying. So, so, so that this is like interviewer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The oh person conducting. So you gotta give a shout out to Russell Thomas. Mm. I mean, I know people here. If you're on YouTube, you're not gonna get this, but yeah. if you're into local art or like Canadian art, and mm -hmm. Russell Thomas did a great, does great interviews, mm -hmm. and I, I really admire yeah. him for that. I, talking with Russell Thomas, one of the things that I love so much is he. He just there, there's so much investment in your in that interview, in that conversation, Absolutely. and all the things you have to say. It's just like he's. He cares about every little thing, so yeah. That's important, it's yeah. important for sure. Um, okay, so number four question uh, yeah. is actually gonna be a deep dive on your Instagram. Uh -oh. They do a segment on Hot Ones where it's called Explain That Gram, and uh, we'll take a bite here, and then we'll and show you a photo death by Johnny? from each of yours. Yeah, this is Death by Johnny. So I, I wanna point out, Hot and Lethal is the, uh, is the tagline That's fantastic. Like, Let's do this, you ready? Oh so, my God, is it, you is guys it, are in for something. Is it, <laughs> what does that mean, does that mean good or hot? Let's just watch you the gotta try. You gotta okay, try it, no, we gotta try it. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, wait. Do you feel it right off the bat? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Mm. Got some heat to it. Got some heat to it. The flavor's not quite as good as but the heat comes through. <laughs> Sorry, Mucho. Do you want to <laughs> finish this? I, I finish it. I think I can finish it. Okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. It hurts your chest, eh? Or it's like it's, it's building. It's, it's, build, it's cumulative. Yeah. Each of these sauces are playing off each other now. Okay. <laughs> I, you know what? The, the, the Aking sauce, yeah, mm. Aking, <coughs> was good. Like it had a great flavor. Yeah, for me too. And mm -hmm. it had a good heat. The Death by Johnny, uh, it's got a good heat, but the heat overtakes this flavor. Like it's, all not, it's all burned. It's all burned. I feel like burned. I feel like I mean like we're working with ribs, which uh, which I made myself by the way for the first time ever. Um, just salt and pepper on them, but I really think that that's meant for like something with a lot more flavors mixed in there. You know, yeah. it's meant for like yeah, more of a yeah. burrito kind of situation. Yeah, that makes sense. But it's tasty. I like that one. Mm -hmm. So. We're gonna deep dive your gram. Uh, we're okay. gonna start with Dan Gillies first. So we selected a, a random photo. Well, not so random. We selected an interesting photo from oh. your Instagram, and we'd hey. like you ex to explain the situation. Yeah. There. So a um, uh, lot of uh, Superman Clark Kent situations when you're a musician. I was going to play at East Village Pub with Trinity Bradshaw doing a country show. It was Halloween, but I had to do a jazz show at uh, at Shell Place for like it was like the Masquerade Ball or something like that. So I showed up with my jazz suit. I wore an eye patch because it was Halloween. Oh my! <laughs> hey, I, I played I play jazz for an hour and uh, and then I, I, I booked it, changed, and did the country show. However, there, there's a little more to that story. I forgot that like when you cover your eye for a couple hours and take it off, <laughs> your center it's like vertigo. Your center of gravity is gone. And I, I I was so scared to drive up to East Village. I was like trying to yeah yeah. That was Halloween. It was uh, a jazz gig at Shell Place. <laughs> so Ashley, uh, Dan Tulks, uh, okay. deep dive on the Instagram. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was a pie throwing contest for the food bank. I, uh, you look, I mean, that, that explains that great. That explains a lot. So we, we raised some money. That was my first year as a, at Compton High School, and the kids uh, decided they wanted to throw pies at me. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing quite like the smell of a beard, yeah. and the rest of the day work once it gets covered in whipped cream. 
anything dirty. Oh, I bet. Like, even it if is, your cereal gets in your beard, like, two hours later, there. you're yeah. like, oh, yeah. I have been there. But, like, I mean, I spent the rest of the day, so I have a suit under that, under a garbage bag, and yeah. then you're covered with cream from head to toe. Yeah. And you try to clean it, but it doesn't. And the rest of your yeah. day, you smell like sour milk. Mm. It is. And it there's is nothing disgusting. to get rid of it until you shower. No, yeah. you can't do anything. Totally. Anymore. That's and awesome. It's, a, it's a wonderful picture. Good for the skin as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's moisturizing, right? It makes me look young. I'm actually 84 years old. Thank you very much, Ashley. Um, so we're on to the last one right here and the final rib. Now, it's tradition around hot ones for them to put a little extra on the final wing. So uh, if you got, you don't have to, but uh, I'm okay. going to put a little we, bit we of extra. Have to. So no way. We've got the pepper, <laughs> no, no joke hot sauce. This has got the ghost peppers in it. This is supposed to be the real, real Ghost deal. peppers. That's like the hurdy one, right? But um, I mean, it's, it, it could be worse. There's, there's. I want to just point out, Steve, that you have two of the most loved musicians at Fort Murray here with you. And I know. Am I going to ruin your voices? <laughs> no. You're going to sing after this. I was just singing, so I can already feel like my voice, like, oh, there's the hot. It's, it's good for you. It's, it's, it's great. I'm going to flip it over because I want meat up. I want to get like this all oh, for sure. I want it meat, oh, meat sure. forward. Sounds good. I don't know. I thought the presentation just, you know, look, looked appealing the other way. Oh, I agree. Yeah, yeah, she, she but you eat it however you want. How much are you going? Are you going to make me look like less of a... I don't know, because I want to, but I might regret it. And you guys have been finishing these, these ribs now. You don't don't feel like you have to. I, one second. I feel like you have to. Like, I, 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 that was too much! I don't like you right so, now. So we can see okay. how much I put on. Ah, uh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Let's I, just I, show, I, show I, off I, our dance. I'm not a, I'm not a huge Plus, fan these are so We've been friends for like a decade, and right now I don't like you. We've actually been friends for a decade. I think so, This is true. Okay, let's do this. Bottoms up, guys. Bottoms, Bottoms up. Here we go. Oh, no joke. This is not even funny. Okay, ready? I'm going to flip this way. I'm no like, jokes Get in there. Get in there. One, two, three. Go, two. go, go. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my God. That's what I like to see. Right there. Oh, oh. some vinegar in there, though. That's pretty good. Yeah. Mm, it's pretty tasty. So that's like a, a hot, but tastes like a... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like... Finish it. I feel like this might be creeper. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like it might sneak up on us. I feel like three, mm. this, three this morning, mm. as I'm lying in my bed mm. comfortable, I'm gonna brew the day I met Steve Reeve. <laughs> what oh, is I hope it? you guys still like me after this. Oh, absolutely. One final question for you. Question number five. Mm. Playing live music at intimate venues and community events requires an element of reading the audience's energy, working the room. Mm -hmm. I want each of you to tell me though, uh, what is your back pocket, like never fails, can't miss cover, that is always gonna grab people's attention and pump people up. What is the thing that you... you got, if, I, 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 got, I got my four, I can answer right now. Oh, you got four. Do, 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 do yeah, four, three, two... I got four, top. you can... As many as you want. You can... You, you, you go ahead. I you make a Spotify Okay, so, you, you, you go out to any club in Fort McMurray, any club anywhere. Yeah. Uh, I was in Athabasca... I, I, I was in... <laughs> Say it again. I was, I in, was in Athabasca <laughs> last weekend, <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you, if the crowd is... Yeah, it's getting a little much, right? Yeah. If the crowd is kind of waning on you, and it's a young crowd, or any crowd, you start that D chord, and somebody's just like, ba 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 I've got my first reel, dance floor full. Done. It is. Done. I, I keep it in my backpack at all time. I only put it in my set list because I'm like, I need this. This is like my my pull out, my yep. pull out, or Jesse's girl. I can play a full uh, night of Brown Eyed Girl, Jesse's Girl, Summer '69, and Wagon Wheel. I can night. play those four songs over and over again, and I would never would be without a gig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And musicians everywhere would hate me. I'm very and and now that's so interesting because like th these venues are different. Like East Village is different than than gosh Black Forest or then or, or Black Forest is Black Forest. Um, and, then, and, and then, uh, like, Wood Buffalo Brewing Co., uh, God rest his soul, but, like, <laughs> uh, but, but anyway, uh, yeah, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's wicked, man. Yeah. I, I think for me, um, weirdly enough, the, the, the two that just stand right out is uh, uh, Wonderwall. For sure. Uh, for yeah. sure. Yeah. And, and, and with Wonderwall, um, I, I, I kind of, like, add this, like, the, the whole vibe to it that's like not Oasis so I like add like it's like a seven minute song like how I add oh, to it yeah. oh yeah um, <laughs> November rain you're every college boy's dream now. I'm just like <laughs> I just like I make it this like Sudeo kind of, yeah kind of, kind of mystical thing and then um, uh, Free Fallen Tom Petty but I do I do John Mayer's version from his live in LA he's, he's amazing and so it's John more Mayer. of a reflective version of yeah. Free Fallen so I, people that's always cool. love that it's slow but it's yeah. and if you're in if you're at any bar that's predominantly Newfoundlanders which is a lot of the bars in Fort Mac because it was a high yes. Newfoundland population and you start Patty Murphy dies mm, in God. the third set though in the third set it is it's like catnip it's it, it like I, people go insane yeah, yeah. especially yeah. with just a little bit of the sauce to lubricate a little, too, bit, right? a little yeah. hot sauce <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. this I, I'm feeling okay are you feeling okay? I feel I, I get the burn yeah. I got this weird sensation it's right of like here and it's right here yeah yeah right. back of my throat got a little tickle mm -hmm. I'm afraid to touch my face. You yeah, don't, don't don't get the hands around the eyes. Yeah, I don't, I don't recommend it. Yeah, Steve, that's yeah. good advice. Okay. Blazer and good interview. Good advice. <laughs> Triple threat. Triple I dug threat. it out of the closet just for this. Well, um, we didn't even dive into the milk yet, but cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Look at that. That's, gonna, that's gonna be good. So um, you guys made it through the gauntlet. Mm. So 
Uh, this camera, this camera, or this camera. Why don't you tell the people what you guys are doing at Wood Buffalo Rib Fest this weekend? You give her my friend. I am performing with uh, Michela, um, country singer. She's on a bit of a, a rediscovery, new new uh, new tunes in the studio, new photo shoot, life changes. So she's she's doing some originals and uh, she's just doing an acoustic set on Sunday. So I'm her guitar player. I'm her wingman. Okay. And uh, Dan Talk Band, you guys see me performing usually. I'm with myself, but we're just with the duo. Uh, this opening for Trooper uh, on Saturday afternoon. Mm -hmm. Dan Talk Band, four be great musicians with me. That'll be a great show. Five ten, come out, have some ribs. Why am I yeah. not in your band? <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> It'd be too confusing. That was a, uh, it's no joke. <laughs> <laughs> huh. You know what? Oh, <laughs> That's still Hot sauce fight. Yeah. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, guys. And, uh, Hot sauce fight. That would be hell. <laughs> just in your eyes, hey. Like, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, we don't need a hospital visit today. Oh, I, think, no. I think this is close enough to the actual extremes they go to on Hot Ones. Thank you so much for joining me. Wood Buffalo Rib Fest, August 30th through September 2nd. Free to attend. Just grab some cash so you can eat the ribs. And uh, it's going to be a great time, so come and join us at Snipe Park. That was a high five. Thanks, guys. Oh, that was a high five. I thought we were, I thought we were waving. No, no. no. Yeah. This was fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> this was fucking awesome. Oh, this was good. This was good, yeah. yeah.